Hello folks, Gripe Daddy here. I'm responding to Arjun2009 who commented on the Gripe Daddy post saying that he's sick and tired of all these rants about how Jopa did all he could. Okay, first of all, let me address a few of your points. The only reason that we're talking about Penn State is because of Joe Paterno, okay? This happens every single day somewhere in the country. Every day. The only reason we're talking about Penn State is because Joe Paterno, the, ooh, the all, oh, God-like Joe Paterno, who's everybody's got respect and been there 60 years, 20 of which he knew about sexual uh, molestation among his ch children, but that's all right. And you're telling me you think he did all he could. Okay, so let me get this straight. If somebody came to you and said, wow, I saw somebody getting fucked in the... I saw a 10-year-old, okay? That's third grade. Third grade. Getting raped in the shower at Penn State. Um, I don't know what to do. You wouldn't do anything, I guess. I guess you just report it to the principal. Okay, cool. That's what you do? Then you're as fucking guilty as Jopa, and you're twice as dumb. Because let me tell you something, anybody that has kids, anybody that has a family or knows anybody that's been on the other end of that asshole Sandusky would have done everything in their power not to tell somebody that it happened, but to make sure that that prick doesn't do it again. Instead, he was on the sidelines with other kids. He, he, he was in charge of a a, a thing, a, a, a house for kids. What? How was that possible? And Joe Paterno, this great leader, and remember, every time, 10 years ago, when we're hearing about the priests, it was on every TV show, it was on every news show, you couldn't have a conversation anywhere without talking about, oh my God, what, what priest raped a kid this year? Oh my God, there's another lawsuit. And every time they saw it in Penn State, Jopa had to think about it in his head. He remembered it. Oh, that Sandusky shit. I know about that. I better do something about it. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. Forget it. It'll, it'll go away. I saw Sandusky with some more kids now, but don't worry about it. I did all I could. I did all I could. I got to tell you, Argent2009, probably a good kid, nice guy. Probably get together, a few beers, beautiful. But I'm telling you, bro, you're dead wrong on this. You are dead wrong. The only reason that we're talking about Joe Paterno, who probably helped hundreds of thousands of guys. Great! The point is that he didn't do this, okay? He didn't help these kids. There, this is the tip of the iceberg. And there's other things going to come out. But remember one thing. The only reason we're talking about this right now is because Joe Paterno is a celebrity figure, okay? If, if it's not Joe Paterno, we're not talking about this because it's not a big deal. They, there's not this hype about, oh, he's this respected guy and he runs the state and everybody loves him. Okay, everybody loves him. Well, you know what? People don't love him anymore. It's over. It is over. His career is finished. Not because he got fired from Penn State. It's over because he didn't protect the children. He didn't protect the children, bro. I don't care if he's got 10 titles. O.J. Simpson, O.J. Simpson, here's another guy. He killed people. What? Hey, O.J. Simpson's like, if somebody compared Joe to O.J. Simpson, I think that's retarded. That's ridiculous. The point is that the celebrity guy has got to step out and realize that he is a leader. Jopa, I'll tell you right now, Jopa knows, Jopa's wife knows, the other coaches know, that interim head coach Bradley, he knows, 35 years he's on that staff, and you're going to tell me he doesn't know either?